Walker here at Glen Echo. We're uh, here at the east end of the uh, maintenance yard area at the edge of our property. And we're replacing this three foot culvert. As you can see there, the water's going down in underneath the culvert pipe. This pipe is basically rusted out all the way down to the other end, which is 220 feet. Um, down on the other side, on the west side of the maintenance building, we're cutting the asphalt right now, and Skip's beginning to pop the asphalt out. We got Russ down here, and he's uh, cutting the line for the asphalt to be able to uh, take out as much asphalt as necessary. Here, this is our check hole that was in the greenhouse that we dug out a few weeks ago to see, uh, see what we actually had. We had a sinkhole about the size of a Volkswagen in the, or a golf cart in, in here. And this is the pipe here. The pipe's completely compromised in there. So, as you can see, it's pretty deep, 8, 10 feet. So, we have to have shoring equipment, a larger track hole in to help with lifting the shoring equipment. And then we're going to put this in the PVC HDPE pipe that'll last, last our grandchildren and grandchildren's time. Got to remove this large uh, large cottonwood down here at the uh, far end where the exit pipe is, as you can see down here, that's a tree that's grown completely around, around the exit. So let me go down here. And where this creek is, is on the right side of number one by towards 1T and down where you come down to the driving, the long driving range. So you can see here, so you can see here the, the pipe is, Completely ate out in there. It's completely the bottoms ate out completely. So we uh, hope to start on laying the pipe next week. Got material coming in. I've got heavy rain later this week. So and uh, get all of our uh, utilities located before we do our major digging and uh, go from there. That's what's going on here at Glen Echo for the next uh, couple weeks.